Hello, guys. Good evening to everyone. Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. Hey, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. So welcome, guys. Uh, well, I'm expecting not to have the same issues that I had yesterday with this with this class. So uh, thank you very much for the ones that are already here. Thank you so much for your responsibility and for being always on time. So probably your classmates are going to be connecting throughout the session. So, um, well, yesterday we had some exercises that we were doing about what we saw yesterday. Who can tell me what was yesterday's class about? What do you remember about yesterday's class? What was that about? It, um, <clears throat> uh, present continuous, but uh, a question. Present. Question, present. With questions, okay, good. Now, uh, let me see, uh, can someone tell me what is the auxiliary that we use in the present continuous for the questions? Do we use an auxiliary? Do we have an auxiliary, yes or no? Do we have an auxiliary? Yes, verb B. The verb to be, okay, good. Now, we're gonna go to a practice right now, and this is the practice that we're going to have today before going to, uh, to today's topic. So let me just go ahead and try to present or share with you the screen so you can have an idea of what we're going to do. So, let me see. Can you see, guys, the screen? Yes, teacher. Good. Okay. So here we have a list. We have a list of some verbs. So what I need you to do in this case is to write down the progressive or continuous form of the verb. La forma del uh, present continuous of each one of the verbs. De cada uno de los verbos que tenemos acá. Then, at the end, Cuando usted ya haya terminado eso, we, I need you to select, que elija cualquiera de los verbos que están ahí y cree dos oraciones, simples or whatever, the ones that you want to use. Ustedes van a elegir dos verbos. So we have exactly, tenemos cinco minutos exactos para poder hacer eso. And the time starts now. Y el tiempo empieza a partir de ahorita. If you finish, Si logran terminar before the five minutes, antes de los cinco minutos, you send the uh, picture through WhatsApp. Envían la, uh, la fotografía through WhatsApp, okay? That's basically what we're gonna do. If you have any question, just let me know. Si tienen alguna pregunta, me lo hacen saber, so I will be here to help you out. I hope everyone understood the instructions. Espero que todos hayan entendido las instrucciones. So we're, oh, I see more people connecting. So you let me, let me refresh, we connect. Well, Carlos Giovanni is just connecting, Xiomara too. All right. Well guys, Carlos Giovanni and Xiomara, we're doing an activity, Carlos and Xiomara. So the activity is this that you can see, lo que pueden ver in, in your screens, in sus pantallas. I need you to write the continuous form, la forma del present continuous de cada uno de los verbos. And then I need you to select, que elijan dos verbos, y de esos dos verbos cualquiera que ustedes elijan, create two questions in present continuous. You have five minutes, tienen seis, uh, cinco minutos to do that. That's gonna be practice for today.
So we just have three minutes left. Nos quedan tres minutos más to complete it. Okay, finish. You finish. Okay, please go ahead and send it through WhatsApp. Okay. For the others, we just have one more minute. Thank you, Oscar. I read well. Well, you just did two uh two sentences. That what you did. <clears throat> okay. You're still missing, Oscar. I want to fall todos los verbos. Ponerlos todos in in progressive in and continuous. Okay. Yes, you're still missing that part. I will give you one extra minute and that's gonna be all, okay? Okay, I already received Jacqueline. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, you you say you're studying for the final exam. Okay, that's good. All right, so that's gonna be all for today. Well, I'm I'm gonna stop sharing. Voy a dejar de compartir. So if you finished it or not, si lo terminaron o no, so send whatever you have. And being hasta donde tenga. All right, so I received Elizabeth. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks, Roberto. I got George. All right, so now, uh, let's see. We're gonna try to verify the verbs. What does the verb work mean, guys? What does it mean, work? What does it mean, work? <clears throat> Working? No, I mean, what does it mean? ¿Qué significa the verb work? Oh, eh, trabajar. Okay, good. Now, we go with the verb run. What does it mean? Trabajar. Run. I, I mean, rain. Rain, what does it mean? Do you have any idea? ¿Alguna idea de lo que significa el verbo rain? 
Llover. 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 Exactly. All right. Now, what does it mean, write? Escribir. 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 All right. Now, what does what does it mean? The verb. Mean? Vivir. Vivir. All right. What does it mean? The verb run. Correr. 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 Okay, what's the meaning of the verb fly? Volar. 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 What's the meaning of the verb go? Ir. Okay. What's the meaning of the verb do? Hacer. Hacer. The verb tie? Atar. Okay, yes, Atar. correct. Atar. And what is the meaning of the verb lie? Mentir. 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 Okay. <clears throat> Good. Now, uh, we're going to go, guys, with today's class. And for today, guys, we're going to have a little bit of uh, vocabulary. And also, we're going to learn about the time. El día de hoy vamos a aprender how to use the clock. Cómo utilizar el, uh, you know, the, the watches and the clocks, el reloj. So we're going to learn also a little bit of vocabulary, you don't know, and just let me share the screen so you, we can have an idea of what that is. So another thing before we go to that, remember tomorrow we do not have class. And we are going to have class on Friday, and on Friday is going to be our last class. Va a ser nuestra última clase el día viernes. So uh, we're going to have an exam. Vamos a tener el examen el día viernes. So I need you to please study. Remember that in any case, en algún caso, usted no pueda ingresar al examen ese día. I need you to tell me. Necesito que me lo hagan saber like the same day. Why? Because it is our last class. Es nuestra última clase. So, obviously, we're going to have an exam. So, just let me double check here. Don't listen, teacher. I don't listen, teacher. I don't listen, teacher. Okay, let me... You listen to me now? I yes. know. Yeah. Like a robot. <laughs> like a, oh my God, I'm sorry. I don't no, know what happened, guys. This is hacer, like this. Sorry, what? I'm sorry. Uh, did you, escucharon todo lo que dije? Eh, escucharon lo que dije del examen? No. No. no, no, teacher. Okay, so, les estaba diciendo que para el examen lo vamos, lo vamos a tener el día viernes. So, necesito todos estén el día viernes. Si de casualidad, by any chance, algo super mal se presenta o tiene algo que hacer, necesito que lo hagas saber. ¿Por qué? Es nuestra última clase y nuestro último examen de todo lo que hemos visto en el módulo. Please. Él va a ser su última nota, chicos. So I need you to be here. Necesito sí, que sí. se presenten ese día. Ay, yes. Escucha. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. I really don't know what's going on. Now what? Can you hear me now? A little bit. Yes. Oh my God, I don't know what happens. It always happens at this time. Siempre pasa exactly at the same time. Exactamente a la misma hora. I don't know what happens. Let me see. If, if, if sometimes, si de repente, 
escuchan, please, I would appreciate, apreciaría que me lo hagan saber so I can, I can verify the internet. Okay. Que se escucha entrecortado, o sea, se escuchan partes y partes no. So it's my internet connection then. Uh, All listen to me. Todos me escuchan de la misma forma que él dijo. Sí. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. All right. So let me see. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really, really sorry about this situation. I mean, we were working fine before. Todo estaba bien. Uh, like. Uh -huh. Ah. We had no problems. Eh, 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 now it's like we're having problems every single day. But we're going to try to resolve that. So, well, so, uh, como les estaba diciendo, please, para el día viernes necesito que todos vayan a estar acá eh, para el examen. Si de casualidad no pueden estar porque algo sucede, lo hagan saber porque es el último examen, chicos. It's the last exam, la última clase. So, please. Tomorrow, no class. Once again, I'm just... Re And now, we're going to go to today's class. Nos vamos a mover a la clase el día de ahora. So, just let me present that to you. So here we have, I don't know if you can see the screen. No sé si pueden ver uh, the screen. Can you see it, by the way? Yes, teacher. Good, thanks so much. Now, as you can see there, we're gonna have time, which means that we are going to learn how to use the, how to use the clock and the watches. And also we are going to have a little bit of vocabulary. Okay, and also some expressions that we are going to use when we talk about the time. So let's start. First of all, antes que nada, there are three ways. Existen estas formas de preguntar el tiempo. For example, por ejemplo, The common questions to ask someone for the time right now are, las preguntas comunes son, what time is it? Or what is the time? What time is it? Or what is the time? Those are the two more common questions that we have. Las preguntas más comunes, both of them. So, There's another way, hay otra forma de decirlo, cuando usted no conoce a la persona y la persona es un stranger, un extraño para usted. Y usted le va a preguntar de forma educada, a more polite way, to ask for the time, una forma más educada de preguntar la hora. You're going to say, could you tell me the time, please? Could you tell me the time, please? But only, o especialmente, cuando es una persona extraña. Especially from a stranger, okay? And it is more polite, it's más educado. So instead of saying, what time is it? Or what is the time? You can say, could you tell me the time, please? So that's going to be another way. Now, also, we have the last form. Tenemos la última forma in which... En la cual, it's another way, es otra forma de preguntar acerca de el tiempo de algo o de un evento específicamente. Specifically, a specific event are, what time, a qué horas, y then agregamos el evento. Or, when, and then the event. For example, what time does the fly to New York leave? What do you guys understand by that question? ¿Qué entienden por esa pregunta? What do you guys understand? Traducirlo, coach. Yes. Perdón, teacher. Okay, yes. and I understand que a qué horas hace el vuelo a Nueva York. Creo que sí es. 
Okay, someone else has, thank you, Jessica. Someone, help, someone else has any other idea about, about that? ¿A qué hora sale el vuelo hacia Nueva York? Correct. ¿A qué hora sale el vuelo a Nueva York? Good. So there we're saying what time, tenemos what time, and then el event. That in this case, we're talking about the flight to New York. Now, we have another one, which is when. Cuando? When does the bus arrive from London? What do you guys understand by that? Cuando llega el bus de, Lond de Londres. Exactly. And the last one, when does the concert begin? Cuando comenzará el concierto. Cuando comienza el concierto? When does the concert begin? Now, those are the three ways that we can ask for questions. I will need, voy a necesitar que todos me, me hagan la forma número uno and number two. So, Jessica, just pronunciation. That's it. So, form number one, number two, and number three. The, just what three. time, uh -huh. what time it is, it is? And what what it is the time? And do you tell me the time, please? Thank you very much. We go with Oscar. Okay. What time is it? What is the, the time? Could you tell me the time, please? Good, excellent. We go with Jonathan Alberto. What time is it? What is the time? Could you tell me the time, please? Excellent. Thank you very much. We go with Guadalupe Santos. What time is... Ay, perdón, pero es que estoy afónica. No sé si me van a lograr oír. What time it is... Could you... Oh, perdón. What, what is the time... What is the time... Could you... Tell me the time, please. Okay, thanks for participating, Guadalupe. Even though you're sick, you have your soap throw, I hope you get better from that. Thank you for, for, for participating. Adelia, we... Teacher, in, la, in la, the third sentences, the, donde dice, what time does the flight to New York live? Yes. Y ese live, ¿qué significa? Salir, live. Ah, yeah. Yeah, okay. it's uh, the pronunciation, la pronunciación entre el verbo vivir y el verbo salir is the same. Probably you got confused, probablemente estabas pensando en este, live, que es vivir, right? Mm -hmm. So the pronunciation, la pronunciación es la misma, live and leave. What is ah, the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? El contexto, porque si yo digo a qué horas... El pueblo a New York vive, no tendría sentido. So the context is going to give you the answer to that. También lo confundo es el ir con hojas. Oh, with leave. Yeah, that's actually, it's, it's the same. La misma pronunciación. Leave, leave. Okay. Es la misma pronunciación. What is going to help you to understand? ¿Qué te va a ayudar a entender si está bien o no? The context. El contexto te va a dar la respuesta, pretty much. Okay. But the pronunciation, la pronunciación okay. es igual. That's why we call them, les llamamos palabras homófonas. Pronunciación igual, pron eh, traducción diferente. Adelia, we go with you. Okay. Uh, what time is it? What is the time? Could you tell me the time, please? Thank you very much. Now we're going to go with Carlos Rodriguez. Okay. What time is it? What is the time? Could you tell me the time, please? Joel. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. What time is it? What is the time? Could you tell me that, that time, please? 
Thank you very much. Elizabeth. What time is it? What is the time? Could you tell me the time, please? Thank you very much. Benjamin. Um, good evening, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Um, uh, what time it is? What no. is the time? Uh, oh, no, okay. the first one what is, is, is it. Okay. I'm okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. What time it is? Uh, no. What is it? It's okay. Sorry. It. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, I, I'm staying. I I don't <laughs> I don't want my house. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, what time is it? Correct. What is the time? Uh, what is the time? Good. Uh, could you uh, could you tell me the time, please? Good. Thank you very much, Umberto. Are you able to participate or not? Okay. Uh, what time is it? Mm -hmm. What is the time? Mm -hmm. Could you tell me the time, please? Good, thanks so much. Now we we'll go with uh, Carlos Giovanni, please. What time is it? Okay. What What is the time? Okay. Could you tell Could you tell me the time, please? Oh, this one, Carlos, is no call. It's could, 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 could. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me the time, please? Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's see, Xiomara. You're the last one, Xiomara. What time is it? What is the time? Will you tell me the time, please? All right. Thank you very much, guys. For for your participation now. Remember, these are the common questions. Las preguntas comunes about the time. Any questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento or someone would like to know anything? Humberto. I have no. The topic questions? is the time. Um, time expression. Time expressions. What do you I'm time expression? Jessica, what, what did you say? I'm sorry. The topic the, this day is time expression. Time expressions, yes. Expresiones, expresiones de tiempo. No, we have the time and expressions. El Ex las expresiones. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. All right, so we're going to move on. Vamos a mover to the next part in here. Guys, like in El Salvador or any other country or any part of the world, como en otras partes del mundo, existen dos formas de decir las, las, the time or the hours in this case. Form number one, la form número uno es la más que si yo les digo ahorita 9.31, Oscar, if I ask 9.31, how do you say that in English? It's nine, uh, three, one. It's nine, one, correct. So, the form number one, la forma numero uno, dice that we say, we say the hours first and then the minutes. Decimos lo, la hora primero y luego los minutos. For example, como lo que acaba de hacer Oscar. Él dijo, nueve, treinta y uno. What do we use? Que utilizamos el personal pronoun it, el pronombre personal it, plus the verb to be, hace el verbo to be, y luego la hora y los minutos. So here we go. For example, 625, say 25. How do we say that? It's 625, say 25. ¿Cómo decimos las 8 y 5? It's 805. ¿Por qué decimos O y no zero? ¿Alguien se recuerda? I remember because the both I can say. You can say both, but why Americans love saying O instead of zero? I think that is more common. It's more common, yes. They love using uh, those type of things. So instead of saying zero, 
they are always going to say the letter O. So for you to say las ocho y cinco, you're gonna say it's 8.05. Now, how do we say nueve y once? It's 9.11. How do we say dos treinta? It's 2.30, 2.34. Now, in this case, le podemos agregar either a.m., a.m. or p.m. It's going to depend on, uh, va a depender de la hora. So you already know that. But la forma número uno es la más fácil, chicos. La que ya sabemos, la que ya usamos todos los días. ¿Qué hora son? Ah, las seis y algo. Ah, ¿qué hora son? Ah, las nueve treinta y tres. That's the way we say it. El, la forma más común. Now, the form number two. La forma número dos es un poquito tricky. Un poquito de prestarle más atención. Why? Because, in this one, we say the minutes first, decimos los minutos antes y luego la hora. Utilizamos la palabra past cuando hablamos del minuto uno al minuto treinta. Utilizamos la palabra two cuando hablamos del minuto 31, 31 al minuto 59. ¿Cómo es eso? For example, for minutes, uh, we, use, we have examples here. Para decir la 2.35. Como ya me pasé del minuto 30 y ya estoy en el 35, entonces yo voy a decir, voy a utilizar la palabra to. Más la hora. For example, yo digo, it's 25, son 25 minutos a las 3. It's 25 to 3. 11 y 20, como digo, como está todavía en la categoría del 1 al 30, yo voy a utilizar primero los minutos y después la palabra past. So yo voy a decir, it's 20 past 11. Son 20 minutos pasadas las 11. Are we understanding si entendemos cómo utilizar that form? Yes. Good. All right. Good. Now, 418. Seguimos todavía con del minuto 1 al 30. Solo han pasado 18. Entonces decimos los minutos más la palabra past y luego la hora. So we say it's 18 past 4. Son 18 minutos pasadas las 4. Now, we have 8.51. Ya nos pasamos del minuto 31, del minuto 30. So, vamos a utilizar 2, que sería más la hora. We say it's 9, son 9 a las 9. It's 9 to 9. Okay? And then 2.59, we say it's, it's 1 to 3. Now, for everyone, for the others, is that understandable? See, I mean, we use the time. Usamos, I, I guess, in El Salvador. Creo que en El Salvador utilizamos ambas formas. So, uh, probably, probablemente algunos estén acostumbrados a la form number one, or probably some of you are used to form number two. That is going to depend on you. But at the end of the day, it's necessary that you know both. Que sepan ambos. Number one and number two. Is there any question that you might have so far? Alguna pregunta hasta el momento or we're clear? Well, I'm going to take that as clear. Clear, teacher. Clear. clear. Hi. Oh, you have a question, Jacqueline. Yes, tell me. Yes. Y cuando se ocupa, digamos acá se hace la diferencia entre 12 del mediodía o eso creo que lo vamos a ver ahorita, ¿verdad? 12 del mediodía o 12 de la noche. Yes, we're gonna, we're gonna see that. Lo vamos a ver ahorita. So, sí, gracias. All right, so, uh, in, case, en algún caso que usted no sabía qué significa AM y PM en inglés, Significa after midnight, significa AM, and PM significa past morning. So that's 
Esos son los significados de AM y PM. So, here we have las diferencias. For example, a estos de acá les llamamos hands of the clock, las manos del reloj. Hands of the clock. Si usted ve un reloj pegado en la pared, a ese le llamamos clock. Solo los que están pegados en la pared. El que usted se pone en su mano, a ese le llamamos breast watch o watch. ¿Sí? No vaya a decir, no se le vaya a ocurrir de decirle a alguien que está chivo tu clock. Está bonito tu clock. No, clock solamente los que pegamos en la pared. The ones that you use in your hand son wrist watch or watch. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, but uh, what does it mean wrist watch? Wrist is, is uh... muñeca. The wrist. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, good. So that's part of the vo little vocabulary that we're going to have for today. And here we have, aquí tenemos a little bit more uh, easier way to understand. Una forma más fácil de entender. Del minuto, de este minuto 31 para acá, to, del minuto 1 al 30, past. En In English also, también podemos decir como decimos en español, las tres y cuarto. En In English we say a quarter, a quarter y cuarto. Eso es para, for example, si yo le pregunto, what time is it? ¿Qué hora son? Oh, son las nueve y cuarto, it's nine it's a quarter past nine. That's what I can say. It's a quarter past nine. Es un cuarto pasada las nueve. Or I can only say, uh, I can say it is 9.15. Son las nueve y quince. So I have to use both ways. Okay, puedo utilizar ambas formas. So remember a quarter, it means un cuarto. Now, cuando usted se refiere a la mitad o a media hora. How do we say that? Podemos decir. No, Lisa. I can say. Uh, you have a question, Elizabeth? I don't listen. No escuchaba. Oh. I don't listen, teacher. Sorry. Oh, you were not listening. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Hasta qué parte pudieron escuchar, chicos? So I, I'm going to repeat. A quarter. A quarter. Okay, so I was saying, estaba diciendo que podemos utilizar a quarter o podemos decir 15. Este a quarter solamente se va a poder utilizar de la forma número 2. Número 1 no, ¿por qué? En la forma número 1 solo digo, por ejemplo, las 3 y 15, it's 3.15, ¿sí? So, en la forma número 2 voy a poder decir para son las 3 y 15, yo puedo decir it's a quarter past 3. Ok, solamente de la forma number 2. Now, para decir media hora, podemos decir 30 minutes, 30 minutos, or podemos utilizar half past, que también significa media hora pasada and then we say el no decimos el no for example 9 y 30 we can say it's half past it's half past 9 es media hora pasada las nueve. so that's pretty much what we're talking about okay so is there any question that you might have with this or I can move on can I move on Well, I'm going to take that as a yes. And here we have some examples. Aquí tenemos some examples. What's the time? It's five past two. What's the time? It's four o'clock. Another thing, guys. Otra cosa muy importante. Si usted va a decir que son las una en punto, las dos en punto, las tres en punto, or whatever, 
La palabra que vamos a utilizar es o'clock, solamente para referirnos a en punto. Por ejemplo, 10 en punto. ¿Cómo diríamos? It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Correct. So remember that. Only when we want en punto, that's the only way we're going to use o'clock. Other than that, that's not possible. We have another example. I did not listen to you. You're listening now. Let's see. That's weird. Okay. Let me see now. Um, I don't listen. Okay. Thanks for letting me know, guys. Sometimes it's the connection that goes really bad. Because I can see, igual puedo ver el microphone here on my screen. Puedo ver el micrófono acá en mi, en mi pantalla y de repente se queda como en blank. Como en blanco. So, I guess es allí cuando ya no me pueden escuchar. Probably. But thanks for letting me know. Gracias por hacérmelo saber so I can know that you cannot listen to me. So, we have another example here. What's the time? It's 20 past five. So I'm pretty sure, guys, that some of you have already practiced a lot. Que han practicado mucho con esto uh, with the clocks or with the time. Now, I would like to know. Me gustaría saber si con la información que acabamos de ver hay alguna pregunta. Any questions so far? Something that was not clear for you? No? I mean, the time is very easy. It's very easy. It's not difficult. So we're going to go then to the practice. So if there's no questions, we're going to move on to the practice. And here we have. Here we have. So please go ahead and take a screenshot. Necesito que tomen capturas de esto. So we can go to the breakout room. So you let me know when you're ready so I can move to number two. All right, so I guess can someone share? Uh, Alguien podría compartirlo en en WhatsApp, chicos, because I cannot. In my case, in mi caso, no puedo uh, take screens because I'm using the computer. So this is number two, esta es la número dos. Okay, Adelia, you can check on, on WhatsApp. I see that someone, someone shared that. Now, this is number two. And if there's no, uh, let's see, we're going to also have this conversation. Vamos a tener esta conversation, guys. So take a screenshot, please. Okay, and now... If you're ready, we're going to go to this one. This is another conversation. So, uh, in the conversations, guys, lo que necesito que hagamos conversaciones, one person, una persona reads one line, another person reads another line, another person, another line, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, it's not necessary, not necessariamente two people. Una persona lee una línea, otra otra. So we can, we can all practice. Así todos podemos practicar at the same time. All right, so we're going to have two conversations. And this one. This is going to be the last one. Esta va a ser la última. All right, 
So that's what we're gonna have. So let me go ahead and create the breakout rooms. And I need you to start working together. So let me see. Go ahead, please, guys. Join your rooms. <laughs> 